Baby, here's your daily reminder to drink some water, unclench your jaw, and find a reason to smile. I love you, and I'm proud of you. Hey, girl. My beautiful Pisces, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any messages that resonate with you in this reading, Pisces, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments, Pisces, as well. Uh, if you do enjoy this tarot reading, or you just enjoy my vibe, Pisces, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my horoscope channel a lot. And I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. Um, but also, remember Pisces, that I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. Use your intuition because uh, I believe my cards here are just here to give you some food for thought, perspective for you to consider, but never making the choice in your life, right? So uh, with all that being said, Pisces, let's just finally get into your weekly horoscope reading. You guys are actually getting an extra card here. Um, more than like the usual. So don't tell me of the, of the other zodiac signs. If you're wondering what it just happened there, I almost just fell for it. <laughs> Imagine, like, I would not have edited it out either if I just fell flat on my face in front of the camera because it would just like knocked everything over, honey. Cards be flying and everything. Let me just show you these cards now. Um, we have the, I pulled some cards to get a situate, you know, idea of where y'all are at in your journey. So we have the Page of Fire. This is the card, extra card that came flying out. So I'm just going to touch on this real quick. Uh, this is my fresh start card, uh, Pisces. So if you guys have been looking for a fresh start, wiping the slate clean with something, it is definitely coming. Now I'm going to put it back into the deck because I feel like that was just a very specific card, a very specific message for very specific Pisces. So if it resonates in a specific way, you know it's for you. I'm not here to tell you how it's supposed to resonate though. So, uh, continuing on though, we have the Queen of Water or Cups. We have the Magician card, Archangel Raziel, number one for numerology, write that down. Also, if you're open to working with Archangels, Archangel Raziel is reaching out to you this week. We also have the Six of Earth or Pentacles, as well as the Seven of Earth or Pentacles. So, what is going on for you right now, Pisces? I do definitely guys see you guys. There's been something that you, you've you planted your seeds with something, and it feels like things are starting to really find their balance and really start... Um, it's almost like the seeds that you planted are starting to really bloom. Like some new leaves are starting to sprout for you guys. Mm -mm. So you probably have been having some anxiety with it where you're just like, oh, are these strawberry plants going to grow? Like you didn't know how it's going to work out. It does feel like it was something that was kind of a risky thing, things up in the air for you. But I do see it working out because we have that queen of water uh, where you're feeling good, Pisces. So I do like that. That six of pentacles as well brings a nice balance to this. So um, yeah, let's see. We're going to start probably with the Seven of Pentacles, but then, yeah. All right, let's go. So we have here the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Earth. This card says, the seeds well planted, a uh, pause in action, and unnecessary worry. So with this card, uh, as I was saying, these are just like your seeds that you've planted. So I like to view the pentacles as, well, yes, it's the normal representation of um, finances and money, right? Because it just looks like queen's money, ha ha ha. But I like to see the pentacles as like whatever it is that you're trying to bring stability into your life, whatever it is you're trying to actively uh, manifest, right? So with the seven of pentacles, I see each of the seven pentacles as a different seed that you're trying to grow. Maybe the seed over here, you're trying to work on your uh, love life. Maybe over here, your family connections. Over here, your career. You know, it just feels like a bunch of different things or a bunch of projects, right? Um, maybe it could even be seven different people. Like, it just feels like a variety of things. It's no one repeating plant that you're growing, if that makes sense, Pisces. Maybe it doesn't, <laughs> right? I'm such a visionary uh, person, so I always kind of have this fear that all my examples or analogies just do nothing but uh, confuse people. And I also just feel like I called you guys Cancer Pisces, and if I did, I apologize. It's just because I did uh, Cancer before y'all. This is for you, Pisces, I promise. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, so I pulled some clarifiers for your seven of earth, your seven of pentacles. So the cards that I got for you, Pisces, is the king of pentacles, naturally. The eight of cups in the reverse, but I'm going to just hold it in the upright just so you can appreciate the artwork of it as I pull it away. Uh, <laughs> and then we have the four of wands for you, Pisces. Uh, so let me take this in for a moment. You had a really good feeling about this, Pisces, but then you still you're still having some fears in terms of if it's going these plants were actually going to I hope y'all did not just see me like do all that spit just spraying. I always am just a train wreck for y'all's reading Pisces, but always in the best way. I like it's something about y'all's energy that always makes me feel okay to be a little bit more chaotic and silly. Um <laughs> but yeah, I do feel as if with this situation here, the seeds that you planted, you're you're extremely unsure about it, right? Very much so, like being like, ugh, you weren't sure if you were needing to like dig it up and like replace those seeds with something else, right? Where you're just like, oh, maybe I'm not meant to have some avocado trees. Maybe I have to do something else, right? Whatever that avocado tree is for you, maybe for I do feel like I keep on hearing creative, so I do feel like a lot of the Pisces that are tapping into this reading this week is really speaking of like creative projects, um, very specific. I really y'all's reading just in general. I keep on getting very like loud messages for, um, very interesting. Y'all are just so unique. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you are having some issues and being like, oh, should I walk away from this? Right? Should I look for something else? Right? With this Eight of Cups here, this. Is is the card of like being making the decision to go to bigger and better waters but i feel like this is more so your fear the king of pentacles just talks about like that stability long-term stability for you and the four of wands is this is the thing that you want so badly now in this car in this deck it doesn't really represent it too closely or too well um but maybe i'll we'll give the four of wands and other good and the other cards my gosh um pisces if you look closely, the wands here are right here. And so it looks like 1111. So it's I every a lot of people will say it's like the 1111 card. And the bunnies or hairs, whatever they are, I think they're hairs, um, create a portal, right? Between these 1111. So it's like um, just walking through that 1111 portal to have like kind of like that wish fulfillment, right? What do you think of 1111 as you make a wish, right? So whatever it is, this is something that you really desired, but you're just like, you weren't sure if this is like your calling. You weren't sure if this is like something that was meant for you because maybe these seeds are taking a little bit longer to uh, bloom than normal, right? So that's been like your issue. That's been your fear of being like, oh, should I walk away from this, right? Should I do something else? So... From this energy, right, we go into this uh, Six of Pentacles for you, Pisces. Now, the Six of Pentacles says gifts of money, time, or effort, new career opportunities, and retrieving a loan or paying off debts. Now, notice with this card, even just in the message, Pisces, um, one, it talks about scales, which we'll get into in a moment. We'll just put a pin on that. But with this, you're receiving something, right? All the verbiage of this card is talking about receiving. And since we're using the analogy of the seeds being planted, right? This goes in so beautifully where it's literally the cards are saying your seeds are about to sprout. Your seeds are about to have a harvest. You're about to receive your, the fruits of your labor, right? And it's directly connected to career opportunities. So I am going to just, for the rest of this reading, I am going to be honest, Pisces. I'm going to speak in terms of is if you're a creative, because I do feel like this message is really for my creatives, not to say it's not for other people, but I do get a strong sense that this must like, I'm speaking more, a lot to, a lot of, Pisces, I feel as if I'm speaking to a lot of creatives this week. <laughs> if we can call what it is I'm trying to do right now, speaking, my gosh. So the clarifiers I have for your six, oh, and we put a pin on the six of uh, the scales here. But this is talking about things coming into balance, right? I do feel as if like... Um, with the six of earth like you put in all this hard work right you invested a bunch of work into something right and that was like so on your side of the scale it was like it was weighing down heavy but there's nothing you weren't receiving anything right and so like it was just been this imbalance and you know just with this right think about it in terms of like 
a lot of people know karma, right? You get what you put out from into the universe, right? So whatever it is that you've been putting out, you're about to be getting that payout. So I do acknowledge Pisces. I'm an extreme optimist, right? A realist, but an extreme optimist. And so like, you know, hold yourself accountable, right? What, what efforts, energies have you been putting into in the world? And what would that look like when, you know, you know what I mean, Pisces. <laughs> so uh, the clarifiers now. We have the Three of Wands for you, the Ten of Wands, and then the Queen, the Empress, actually, in the reverse. So, here's the thing, uh, Pisces. I do get this strong sense here of um, something... During this whole process of things being an imbalance, it's almost as if you're trying to be, like... Spirit's trying to show you something. Spirit's trying to teach you something, Pisces, but you're not quite seeing it. You're not seeing how it's supposed to build some character in you, right? You're just kind of viewing it as, uh, <coughs> oh gosh, now I'm dying on my own spit. Uh, uh. Okay, also, can, does, can any of my other Pisces tell me if they're the same way in that, like, since, like, this whole pandemic, even as I'm, like, recording or in my own home, anytime I'm coughing or sneeze or anything, I just have, like, this immense guilt of feeling like, being like, I don't have corona. Even now, as I was coughing, I was just like, ooh, I hope they don't think that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't feel as if you guys are really, um, this is, I guess, what I would trying to say by this is it feels like you're, maybe you're taking things a little bit too personally. Um, or I guess that sounds dismissive, doesn't it, Pisces? And I don't want me, I don't want my verbiage to come off as dismissive of your experience or feelings. It feels like, um, you're allowing something, or something's like, uh, defeating you more so than allowing it to be something that, uh, builds some character in you. So let's just continue on with like a, the creative aspect, right? Let's just say that you put out like a project, right? you put something out but it wasn't really well received right maybe you didn't get as much traction as you thought it would um and so from that that kind of took a blow to your ego didn't it right and so because of this you took this as you did you took this as a sign of being like oh well i guess this is this is a sign that i just suck at art and i shouldn't bother creating anything and that's not the case pisces that's not the case at all maybe what it's trying to show you is being like um to try out a different art style or maybe it's trying to just simply challenge you just to push yourself more and to put out more of this stuff right just because you're not getting that instant gratification doesn't mean it's not going to be coming at some point right remember when you plant when you plant an avocado tree i would hope honey you're not planting the avocado tree thinking that you're going to have an avocado tomorrow to eat right you don't do that you think about the long term with this right and so for some of you pisces i feel like you kind of need to have like snap out of your head a little bit uh with that get out of your head um stop doubting yourself so much right get out of your impo like i feel like even for your last week's reading there's i spoke of your imposter imposter syndrome pisces and it feels like i'm still getting a little bit of that energy this week as well go look at your last week's reading if you haven't pisces because i'm about to just keep on squinting right now <laughs> um but now we get into the good stuff for you right we have the magician card coming in archangel raziel this card says you are ready you have the resources and the ability to manifest them life is magical i mean right so this is a card of just i mean again this is this card you know a, a lot of cards like the sun card promises like abundance right or like the ten of pentacles promises of abundance the magician card promises abundance and manifestation but it's through quite literally your work right the magician is the person that carries themselves with extreme confidence because they believe they can really create the reality that's around them right and you can right but it's through your hard work so continue on with a creative example right then maybe this is a sign that you just need to continue working hard and getting out of your head and keep putting out stuff right just imagine how much more work you would get done Pi pisces pisces if you were to have if you were to just like get out of your head and stop trying to make everything perfect or being critical about it and just putting out art right flood the market right if i were to just like not only if using myself as an example pisces right i'm not gonna sit here and pretend as if like i think my videos are perfect honey they're far from it if my if you've been around on my channel for a while pisces you'll know my, when my background wasn't this i used to complain about my background all the time constantly pretty happy with it now but 
you know, if I got in my head and be like, oh, I only want to post stuff that I'm completely perfect with. And if it doesn't get like a certain amount of views, I'm not going to bother. Then I wouldn't have this channel now. Right. And so you kind of think about it in that way. I get how frustrating, how defeating it can feel. Trust me, honey, I get it. Right. I get it. <laughs> I get it, honey. But you know, it's the biggest struggle, but it's also the most rewarding struggle once you overcome it is like getting out of your head and not caring about the perception of other people. So all those rambles, honey, uh, getting into the clarifiers for your magician card, nine of wands in the reverse, the justice card, Libra card, um, as well as the two of swords. So uh, for this Pisces, really, you know, that notice the balance thing keeps on coming in for you. Two of Swords with this Nine of, of Wands, I feel like in the reverse, I do feel it comes in as this message of where it's like, stop being so resistant towards uh, the path that's going to build you more character, right? You can't be, a, you can't, well, I guess you technically can, but you, it's almost like you want to be able to, you know, let's just say, for example, you want to be famous, right? You want to have your work, your art to be seen by a bunch of people, right? You can't want that, but then at the same time, expect to not get criticism at the same time, right? This it just goes hand in hand, honey, if, if only that wasn't the case, right? So it's one of those things you kind of have a have to have that tough conversation with yourself and being like, um, be like, okay, why do I care so much about everything being so perfect, right? Figure out what's keeping you back from just allowing yourself to just create, because I really feel like that's just an issue for you, Pisces. I feel like if you were to just consistently create, if you were to consistently put yourself out there, continuously putting energy into something rather than um, sparsely, you would really see such huge results. Um, it would really bring a lot more happiness to you. And the Queen of Water, the Queen of Cups, reflects this, Pisces. This card says relationships develop to a new level. Uh, trust your intuition and caring for yourself and other people. Now, this is just where you start opening up more, Pisces. Maybe this is a push for you to start opening up to more other creatives as well. Um, or just opening up to, well, before I run my mouth anymore, let me just pull some cards, right? <sighs> okay. Yeah, Pisces. I was right, so I guess I could have just ran my mouth, huh? Uh, so I pulled the clarifiers for your Queen of Water, Three of Cups, the uh, Ace of Wands, as well as the Queen of Cups again for you, Pisces. So quite literally, yes, this is a push. The Ace of Wands is like grabbing a torch and going forward. Wands refers to your passions, right? Because it's that fiery energy, right? And then Three of Cups is the card of like celebrating with other people, right? Come on now, Pisces, come on now. And then the Queen of Cups, again, coming in for you, where it's just like opening your heart. And like, as this card says, relationships developing to a new level, caring for yourself and others. And notice it says trusting your intuition. So if there's been someone that's been on your mind or a situation or a thing or, you know, cause Cups can't, I know I'm speaking in terms of people, but Cups do represent opportunities and things of that nature as well. Pisces, right? Um, like, I do to please, like, take this as your sign to reach out to more creatives. Maybe that's somehow linked to, like, inspiring you to help you get out of your head. Maybe having other people perceive your work and hearing other people's perception of your work will help you, um, and just of you, will help how you see yourself as well, Pisces. Maybe. So, uh, now, Pisces, I'm gonna get into y'all's uh, social and love uh, readings this week, your uh, horoscope, as well as your financial and uh, career uh, horoscope. We're going to start out with your love and social situations, though. I always like to uh, remind you, though, that when I say this, it doesn't always mean romantic. I just hit my tripod. It doesn't always mean romantic, right? Um, we have more relationship relationships in our life than just romantic ones. We have friends, we have family. So we have Eight of Air, the Unity card, the Moon card, the Seven of Air, and the King of Fire. Mm. Yeah, in terms of your social connections, there's something that you, like, you want to reach out, right? There is someone that you really want to connect with more on a deeper level, I get a sense of. But you have, like, this fear of, um, like, it's almost like the fear of, like, I don't know if it's, like, rejection. The Seven of Swords here is what's scaring you, 
right? I don't know um, if you don't know if you can trust them. I don't know if he feels like they don't, like there's just something here that makes you feel as if you can't connect with them, right? That makes you feel trapped and puts you at this place where it's just like, you end up just not reaching out to them. With the moon card, this can be in one of two ways. This could be a message of where it's like, You'd be shocked if you were to reach out to them by the result and like how good it would be. I acknowledge though that's my optimism speaking. Um, but I mean, you consider it with a unity card of people coming together, then it feeds into more of the reason why I feel that um, it would be good. Or you were, this is more so like just emphasizing like the fear of the unknown for you, uh, Pisces, where it's just like you want to put your neck out there um, or you put your own heart on the line in case of rejection, right? But, you know, you're just being pushed into connecting, right? I don't feel like I need to really go into too much detail with it, right? It's kind of ultimately your decision if you want to get out of your shell or not. But with those cards coming in this way, I do feel like you wouldn't regret it. So now let's get into my Pisces uh, financial and career horoscope this week. Huh. Ten of air, page of air, and the renewal card. So you guys are still probably, it feels like you guys are putting more of a focus on, um, this is going to be weird, but it's almost like some type of connection. Like I know I keep on speaking about people, but it does feel like some type of social connection need, needed to be addressed, right? If you work with people, it's, I don't know. I, I do just feel like you're, some type of communication is directly linked to you being able to start fresh with something. Um, noticing with the renewal card, we talked about with that page of wands at the very beginning that popped out for you guys. I do feel like there's just this strong desire to start fresh and to do things, but um, do things like from a different approach. But with this ten of swords and this page of swords, it's almost like, I don't know if like, you know, you guys fell off the horse at one point and you're afraid to get back on. Or if there's just like some type of like connection in your life that like has you in your head too much that stops you from really creating, right? You know, this would be like those people that like just don't understand like your art or understand your passions and all of that, right? Um, I do just get this sense for you guys, Pisces, of um, putting just a strong emphasis on just pressing the restart button in whatever way that looks like for you for your financial life. So um, yeah, that is the cards that I have for you, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you found some cards that resonate with you this week in your weekly horoscope. If you did, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, also, give this video a like and subscribe. And then by the way, Pisces, I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs, not just your, uh, not just Pisces. Um, so if you have a friend that's into horoscope readings, or even if they're not, send them their video uh, of mine, uh, preferably, and maybe they'll find a uh, tarot message that resonates with them. Until next time, Pisces, I hope I can connect with you guys sometime in the near future. I love you so much. Bye.